So there we are given uh, question number four, uh, 4.1, study the following graphs and answer the questions that follow. So from these graphs that we are given, we need to study them and answer the questions which follow are given. Uh, the graph of uh, BP, this one, uh, that is of BP, and this one, uh, sorry, this one of uh, from actually it's from A P to B like this, which is uh, got P uh, at one, and we've got the line C D. So as you can see, uh, the line C D, this one, it is a uh, a vertical line, straight like vertical line like that. So remember, uh, that is your x axis. And this is your y-axis. Uh, by studying this line, we can tell its equation. It passes through the point 1 here. So it means its equation, its x is equal to 1. Throughout this line, x is equal to 1. So that's why we are given at the intersection the point 1, 5, where x is 1. And we also have the point P, which is 0, 1, which is the y-intercept at point 1 in the y-axis across uh, the line AB. All right. So that is what we can what you can tell from what we asked you to study there. Then from that, the question is now 4.11. Calculate the gradient of the line AB. You may use the given formula. We have got this formula, uh, two marks for that, the gradient of AB. All right. So if you consider AB, this is what is happening. We can use that formula or we can use that concept of the gradient being the change in y over the change in x. Okay, remember the concept of the gradient. So that's 4.11, 4.11. So we can use the formula or we can use this concept of uh, the change in y over the change in x as we are going down and we are also going to have the change in x. So y, as you can see, it's at five. Here it was at one. So the change is the difference that we have five minus one, there's a difference of four. Yeah, there's a difference of one. But as you can see, we are going down in Y, so that's negative four. In X, we are going to the left, so it's negative one. So our gradient from this formula of the change in Y over the change in X, the change in Y over the change in X, it was going to be minus four, the change in X minus one, and that was going to be a positive four. But as we are told, we may use the formula of that gradient, the change in y over the change in x from y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We can use this formula as we are told. So meaning to say we can just choose this point x1, y1, uh, this point x2, y2. It's in your hands. So meaning to say m is going to be y2 minus y1. That's 1 minus 5. 1 minus 5 over x2 minus x1, our x2, that's 0. Our x1, that's 1, so that's 0 minus 1. So that was going also to give us the same answer of um, uh, positive 4. That is negative 4 over negative 1, which was going to be a positive 4. So it's up to you. You're using the formula or you're using the concept of the movement, the change in y over the change that is happening in x. And after that, Find the equation of the line AB in the form of Y is equal to MX plus C. The equation of this line AB, the whole of this line AB that we are seeing, this line AB. Remember, the format that we are given there, it tells us that C is the Y-intercept. So in the form of Y is equal to MX plus C, remember I said that is your gradient. And in this case, we are talking about the Y-intercept. So in this case, the gradient M, we calculated our gradient. That was 4. So that is 4x plus C, the y-intercept, where this line passes through the y-axis. That is at point 1, where y is equal to 1. So that means in that case, we are going to have this as y is equal to 4x plus 1. Just like that, you've got your equation. So that was the typical exam question that we had. Uh, let's just revise as much questions as we can. As you can see, straight line graphs, they are straightforward. Gradient, y-intercept, gradient, y. that is what they are going to be focusing on. So just make sure that you understand how are they going to ask uh, these typical uh, questions.